In this video, we're gonna configure Unbound so that we can use it with a PyHole DNS server. But before we do that, the first question we have to answer is exactly what Unbound even is and why you'd wanna configure it. In order to get to that, we need to take a step back. PyHole is a DNS sinkhole, which allows you to block ads, security threats, trackers, and more. When you configure it, you set it up to receive all of your DNS queries. From there, PyHole blocks certain DNS queries, which is how ads, security threats, and trackers are actually blocked. After PyHole blocks what it considers to be bad traffic, it forwards all the good traffic to an upstream DNS provider. The upstream DNS provider can be different and will generally depend on exactly which DNS provider you prefer, but common options are Google and Cloudflare. So for whatever entity you pick, They'll broker that DNS request so that you can access whatever website you're trying to connect to. What people dislike is that they're sending that information to a third party who is actively aware of exactly which DNS queries came from a specific IP address. Unbound can take care of that, kind of. Unbound is a recursive DNS server. Rather than sending that DNS request to an upstream provider, Unbound will go out and get the answer on its own. So rather than relying on a third party, it'll be private since you're the one running Unbound. You can enhance privacy even more by using DNS over TLS or DNS over HTTPS, which will encrypt the DNS query itself and is supported with Unbound. Now this setup will be an add-on to a video I already made on PyHole, but if you're interested in setting this up, the Docker Compose file we'll use will configure PyHole and Unbound, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. If you're interested in configuring PyHole only, check out that video. Finally, if you want to hire me, link is in the description. Okay, so what we're ultimately going to do is configure PyHole and Unbound in a individual Docker container. So if you don't have Container Manager installed, you're going to have to go and install it. So inside a Container Manager, what we're going to do is create a new project. We're going to name it PyHole. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the path to PyHole. Now, if you don't already have this path, what you have to do is inside a file station, you have to come in and inside of this Docker folder, you're gonna create two folders, one for Unbound and one for PyHole. Inside of the PyHole folder, you're gonna have a dnsmass.d folder and a PyHole folder, and inside of the Unbound folder, there will be nothing. You have to have these two folders in order to actually create the containers. From there, we're gonna create a Docker Compose file and we're gonna paste in the actual Docker Compose file, which I have a link to in the description. And what we'll do is quickly walk through this. So the top section here, this is the actual PyHole container. So everything from here all the way down to the Unbound container is PyHole. What we'll be utilizing is a Mac VLAN network interface. Now, I have a bunch of tutorials that utilize Mac VLAN network interfaces, and if you've used any of those, you have to be aware that you might have to modify your individual uh, Mac VLAN network interface. But once we get to that section, I'll explain it a little further. So these are the default ports that PyHole will use. And then this is going to be the actual networks that PyHole uses. So for PyHole, we're going to have a 192.168.1.198 address. If you're not using the 192.168.1 subnet, you might have to modify this. For the bridge, we're going to have a 192.168.100 uh, subnet. Now, the bridge is how the actual NAS will communicate with the PyHole container. So it cannot communicate on this IP address. It can only connect on this IP address. So let's say you wanted to manually set the NAS to use the actual PyHole container as its DNS inside of the control panel here you'd manually configure the DNS server and then you would set it as that IP address. Now this is how the NAS would communicate with that PyHole container. We're not gonna do that, so we're gonna ignore this. For the priority here, this is just saying the highest priority is gonna to go to this PyHole network. You can modify some of these environment variables if you wanna modify the time zone. This will be the actual password that you'll use to log into the web interface. This can stay as is. And then this is actually going to be the IP address of our unbound container. So once we get to the unbound configuration, you'll see that we're specifying this right here to be our actual IP address. Next, you might have to modify the volume. The volume, I'm using volume three because I have this all configured on an NVMe volume because it generally runs faster on an NVMe volume than it will run on your actual hard drives. I have a video that I released last week that I will link to in the description if you're interested in checking out why you might wanna actually configure that. Next will be the actual unbound container. So we're giving it a name, 
we're using the ports 53, which is a DNS port. Now this will be the IP address for Unbound. Notice we're not setting a priority because we're not actually using two different networks here. We're only using one. Finally, this is the actual path we'll be using and this is the volume number. So if you're not using volume three, you will have to modify this. Everything else is just the network configuration. So this is the bridge network interface. You're not gonna have to change any of this unless you're using the 192.168.100 subnet already. If you are, change this to be something else. Pi-hole network, this is where you're gonna potentially have to change something. So this is gonna be the subnet that you're actively using. So for me, it's 192.168.1 on this test network. For you, it might be something different. Everything else you'll see here, we're using the IP range forward slash 24, and that's so that we can actually utilize two different IP addresses inside of both containers. However, the big thing you have to modify here is this OVS E0. So for me, this is the actual network interface that my NAS is listening on. In order to get to that, we have to actually SSH into the NAS. So make sure you enable the SSH service. And then if you open up a PowerShell or terminal window, what we're gonna do is SSH into the NAS at the IP address of the NAS. And as soon as you sign in, we're gonna run one command and it's just gonna be ifconfig. And then you're gonna see a lot of different things here. Ultimately, you're looking for the IP address of your NAS. So what you'll see here is 192.168.1.6. That matches what I have here on the NAS. So when you go back to it, you'll see over here, that's the actual network interface name. That's what I need to add inside of that actual Docker Compose file. Now you might have it set up differently, meaning that you might have it set as ETH0. It depends on what you have running on your NAS. Now mine is OVS because I configured Virtual Machine Manager. If you did, yours is probably gonna be OVS as well, but it doesn't matter. All you're looking for is the IP address of your NAS, and then you're gonna come in and you're gonna copy in that network interface name, and then inside of this Docker Compose file in the parent interface here, it has to match. So as long as it matches, every Everything else can stay as default. However, once again, if you wanted to change any of these IP addresses, you can do that. You can change 198 here, and you can change 199 here, and these are the IP addresses that Unbound and Pi-hole will use. After you do that, you can run through this and it will actually pull down the container and create it. Okay, so after everything is started here, what you're gonna see is after it pulls the container, it will actually go through, it'll create the PyHole bridge and the PyHole network interface, create the containers and then start them. So we're at the started point now. If you click into PyHole, what you're gonna see is that PyHole is running and Unbound is not. It's gonna be going from gray to green. That's what I noticed. I like to do it this way because what this will do is this will actually create our unbound configuration file that we're gonna to have to modify. However, before we do that, what I wanna do is actually stop everything. So what you'll see is when the containers are started, if we come back here, we'll have some data in the unbound folder. And if you come inside of here, we'll have some data in the pie hole folders as well. So the containers were created and the actual files were, were added here. Now you do not have to do it this way, but I like to do it this way because at that point, the unbound configuration file will be created automatically. Now I'm gonna edit this unbound configuration file and I'm gonna double click it to edit it. If you double click that file and it doesn't open, it's because you don't have the text editor application installed. So inside of the package center, just search for text editor and install it and then you'll be able to edit it directly on the NAS. Now this entire configuration file can be edited. There's a lot that you can do inside of here. So if you're interested in modifying this further, you can, and every one of these parameters can be modified in one way or another. However, for a default setup, everything here should be good. So the only thing we're gonna do is scroll all the way to the bottom, and then you're gonna see local zone and forward zone. And we're not actually using this because we're gonna be using PyHole for our local DNS and we're gonna then forward it from PyHole to Unbound. So the easiest thing I found is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna just remove all of this. And as soon as you do that, you can come in here and save it. So we're gonna X out of this and we're gonna X out of this. Now, once we make those modifications, what we're gonna do is come back in here and we're gonna start up this PyHole project. And what you should see is that Unbound and PyHole are both started. There are times I wanna say every now and then for some reason, Container Manager doesn't read the priority of the network interfaces correctly. So if you get an error, stop the containers and then start them back up. It will not happen on Unbound. It will only happen on PyHole. And that's if it happened. As you can see, it didn't happen this time. So PyHole and Unbound now are actually both running and they're running properly. 
you can confirm in the actual network that both network interfaces were created and two containers are running on the Mac VLAN network interface and they're unbound and piehole, exactly what we want. So at this point, we're not actually using piehole, but what I wanna show you is that unbound is working. So I'm gonna exit out of that SSH session and what I'm gonna do is run a command to actually pull a DNS query from unbound directly. So this is just a basic NS lookup command and we're gonna specify that we wanna use this DNS server. So this is the IP address for unbound. And as soon as we run that, what you'll see is we get an answer back. Now, if we go back and we actually stop this piehole container, so with the piehole project stopped, meaning unbound stopped, if you come back and run that command, you're not gonna get a response. You don't have to do that check, but I just wanted to show you that without unbound running, it's not actually going to resolve anything. So I'll come back here and I'll start this back up. And with it started back up, if we come in and run the same command, what you'll see is that we now get a response. So unbound works. So what we're gonna do is access the Pihole admin interface, and we're gonna sign in with the password you specified in the actual Docker Compose file. But what you'll see here, if we go to settings and we go to DNS, we are going to, by default, be using unbound. So 192.168.199, that's the unbound IP address. And then hashtag or pound sign 53, that is going to be uh, indicating that we're using port 53. So at this point, Pihole is configured to use Unbound. We've tested Unbound, we know that it works. So the only thing left to do is modify our DNS server so that it actually uses Pihole and Unbound. So this is the router I have set up on the test network. This is a Synology router. And what I'm going to do is edit this primary network. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna change the primary DNS to be 198. Okay, so after I modified it, I disconnected from my network, reconnected, and I can confirm that I am in fact using Pihole as the DNS server. Now, the final thing I wanna show you is that if I open up a new window and go to google.com, so what you'll see in the query log is that after we went to google.com, you'll see that it was answered by Unbound. That's ultimately what I wanted to show you. Um, so we can confirm that not only is Pihole working, it's actively blocking what it's considering to be bad traffic, but it's also answering by using Unbound. Now, the last thing that's important to mention is that you should have multiple DNS servers. While this Docker container will act as the first, it's not a bad idea to set up a second DNS server using something like a Raspberry Pi. And if you do, the Unbound setup process will be different for that. I have an article that I'll link in the description if you want to configure Unbound and Pi Hole on a Raspberry Pi. But other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.